Hello and welcome, Virtual Stormtrooper, back one more time for another First Impressions review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise 2-pack of Skywarp and Thundercracker, and I am really excited. I gotta back up because this box is huge. I'm really excited to check these guys out. So, yeah, the Seekers were one of those figures that I was really thinking about skipping uh, a Watch Patriot Prime's review. If you haven't, go check his review and his uh, Toy Hacks stickers video of uh, Starscream. And that really kind of sold it for me. I had to go pick up that Starscream. I did that video recently. And I've been on the hunt for these guys ever since. And uh, my wife called me from Target the other day and she said, hey, they got this two-pack here. It's got these two guys. They're a blue one and a blue one. I said, get it, get it, get it, get it. That's the one I want. That's the one I've been looking for. So here it is. Very excited to get it. Window box showing the two figures already in robot mode. Uh, over on the back, we can see, once again, we can see the two figures with uh, also represented with their jet mode. So we can see what those guys look like. And they look like they're pretty much just repaints of Starscream. I think one of them may have a different face. We'll see that when we open them. Over on the side, artwork of just Earthrise and, you know, all the backgrounds and for characters and, you know, that kind of stuff there. On this side, we got some artwork of Thundercracker and Skywarp in jet mode. Top of the box bottom of the box. Let's flip those cameras and let's get this thing opened up. Okay, so here we have the box and my handy dandy nippers. Let's get to it and start cutting some tape off. Let's see what these guys feel like right off the bat. And again, just looking just based on what I'm seeing through the box window, it looks like just straight up reprints of Starscream, Starscream which we've already checked out and uh, it's a fantastic figure. If you can get only one and you can only find Starscream, he is totally worth it. Let's get these guys slipped out. We can see what those guys look like. Let's check out the rest of the box. So we'll pull out the map. And of course there's the instructions and the little insert thing there. We'll set the instructions off to the side for now. There's our, our little insert, our little map right there. It looks like pretty much just the same map that we've been getting on all the Earthrise figures, just a little extended. And again, it uh, doesn't look like there's going to be any uh, actual planets named on this one. And the, that actually kind of brings up the point that there is uh, no decoder included with this one either. So there's, there's something to note. So no decoder here. Put that back in the box. Put this insert back in the box. Someday I might read this thing and see what it's all about, but it's not going to be today. And here they are, Starscream and Thundercracker. They look amazing. So let's get these guys cut out of here. And again, they've only done, it looks like, they've only done the one cut, or the, the one zip tie here, which is nice. Only one thing to cut. Not a whole lot of uh, that stuff to pick up or clean up after. And then there they are, freed from their plastic prisons and I'm hoping I don't run into another issue I think 2020 has been the year of me getting figures with parts missing um, I've had it with uh, the Cybertron um, or Galaxy Force Optimus Prime uh, he was missing pieces I went and returned him got another one that one that one second one was also defective I had to take it back I went through three of those uh, and then if you remember here recently when I got Starscream it was also missing, my first one was missing the uh, stabilizer off the uh, off of the foot here. But there they are, and they look really cool. And right away, let's take a look here. Let me look at the faces, because they do have different faces. And, okay, so real quick, just for close-ups here. Here's Starscream and Thundercracker. Yeah. Let's see how we can do this. New setup here, guys. So I have to figure this out still. So they got the fa they got the same face, uh, other than Sky uh, Thundercracker's eyes are a little brighter red, which I like a lot. I really like the red on those eyes. Uh, however, when we bring in Skywarp, Skywarp has like this surprised uh, or yelling or open mouth expression. So he has a different face from the other two. Um, so I guess there's some distinction other than the paint. Uh, there's a difference in the mold there. I guess if they were going to go that way, it would have been nice if they would have just gone with a different face for all three of them. But right off the bat, just going to check out his uh, articulation. And again, the head is on a ball joint, so that moves up and down side to side, all that good stuff. The wings do move back and back, or sorry, uh, front to back. And they can also, uh, they see this one has... You've noticed this wing has fallen off on me twice now, which was something that happened to me with uh, Starscream when I was transforming him. This wing came off. Hasn't happened with the other one, but uh, hey, if you guys missed it in the first video, G1 mode. <laughs> I love that you can do that with these guys. G1 mode. I love that so much. 
But uh, yeah, look at that. That wing, you can barely look at it. And it just pops off. So that's unfortunate that that wing is just going to come off like that. Arms feel good. Forward, backward, in and out. A little tight on the rotation. Actually, it kind of feels like it's catching right there. A little tight there. That's good, though. And then, of course, you've got the bend and the spin. And I don't remember. Did this one have... I this one does not have rotation at the wrist. Nothing at the waist either, but you can go. Wow, the joints are super tight on this on the cracker. Rotation, and there goes the. That is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. As you guys can see, I am just posing, really, just checking out his basic articulation. And any bump, any time my knuckle just bumps into this wing, it just pops off. That is absolutely terrible and unacceptable. And I don't know if it's because the mushroom peg is maybe a little sunk in. If you look at that mushroom peg there, um, it's 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 in halves, you see. And I don't know if maybe it's in like this too far. Maybe if I wedge something in, if I heated it up and I wedge something to push it out and let it cool down again, that might help. So I might try that. But as is, out of the box, that's just unacceptable. Anytime I just be, touch it with my finger as I'm trying to post the figure, it's just popping off. That's just terrible. All right, so there's there's Thundercracker. Let's check out Skywarp and see if he's got any such issues. And uh, again, just checking out the head, checking out the wings, doing the G, the obligatory G1 mode. Let's move around. Arms. Yeah, see this. His arms move around much easier than Thundercracker's did. So. And oh, the legs are tight though. That's. And see, so far, no issues with the wings. So it looks like that's going to be just an issue with with Thundercracker. I had a, uh, a little bit of an issue with, with Starscream, but with Starscream, it doesn't happen as much. It seems like with Thundercracker, it's just going to be a big deal. And for comparison, let's just check out all three of these figures together. So you can see, I guess Starscream should be in the middle, huh? So we'll put him in the middle. You guys can see what these guys look like all together. And that is a nice looking trio there. We'll throw in Megatron. Why not? Let's just throw him in there. He's going to be crooked because of his wing. Or sorry, his uh, sword on the back there. Check that out. This is a very cool display. This right here, I'm happy with this for my Earthrise Decepticon um, lineup right there. This is absolutely just perfect display right there. absolutely love that. And I'll probably throw my, my sound wave up there. Um, the one that uh, the Target exclusive that I reviewed recently. I'll put that one up there maybe. But All right, let's get these guys uh, transformed. Oh, Megatron is falling over. Oh, I know why. Megatron's got that ankle thing. I can never get Megatron to stand straight. All right, let's uh, let's get these guys transformed. Let's check these guys out in jet mode. I can't wait to see what all three of these guys look like together. There's that wing again. Look at that, guys. That is unacceptable. Uh, out of the package. So, so uh, you know, and again, it could just be out of uh, my copy because, as you see, Skywarp is not suffering from that, and Starscream uh, did it once or twice, but not like this. I mean, every time I look at this thing the wrong way, it falls off. So that is just unacceptable. Hopefully it's just my copy, uh, just a flaw on my copy and not going to be indicative of the figures themselves. I don't see anything physically wrong with the wing here. So I may try that. I may just try heating up that mushroom peg there and uh, wedging something in between it and try and widen it out because that just falls off way too easy. That is unacceptable. All right, let's get these guys off. And uh, let's play a drinking game here. Let's see how many times that wing falls while I'm trying to transform this thing. Although right now I'm literally putting my finger on it, so I'm kind of holding it in place. So the arms have this funky shrinking thing that they do. And then they do that. If you guys remember from my previous video. Let's get these guys in there. It can be a little tricky uh, at first, and what I figured out is that you, you tend to want to do the arm shrink thing while the fist is still out, and you can't do that. You have to fold the fist up. Man, that's going to be frustrating. I'll tell you what. All right, let's see how easy or difficult these guys pop off. Wow, that is tight, and Drink again, take a shot. Wow, that is really tight. That is unreal how tight that was. Now I'm curious. I wonder if uh, the ch I, I don't think it will. It will. 
but you know Skywarp does have a different mold on the head although it should be just the face it shouldn't affect the helmet itself I don't think but I wonder if that's going to do anything about tucking the head in here if it's going to make it any easier or harder to do we'll see when we get there so we're almost to jet mode I really do love the look of these jets with the wings pointing forward kind of like a uh, animated did it's such a cool look so for now, I think, let's get these guys moved over. So far, pretty happy with the set. Everything looks really nice. Uh, and the only issue that I seem to be having is going to be with the wing on Thundercracker here. And uh, let's just hope that that remains to be the only issue that we find. Okay, that seemed easier to tab in than uh, Starscream was. Starscream was a little more difficult to tab in together in jet mode. Yeah, that was the wings tapped in easier. And this this wing's probably... Man. Yeah, I think that might do it, just that uh, heating up that tab or that mushroom peg. Yeah, see that? It's just not holding in place. Um, So, it okay, I think the issue here is, it looks like this just isn't pushing in all the way. It's going to be hard to see on this camera, but... If you look at the seam space here, it's very tight. If you look at the seam space here between the wing and the joint, you can see a little bit of a gap. And I think that's what the issue is. It, the wing doesn't seem to be going in all the way. Even when I try to force it, it still gets spit back out. So even when I bring it down here, you can see there's a big gap on this side of the plane here. It doesn't stay all the way in. So that may be indicative of what the actual issue is. Uh, maybe there's something that needs to be shaved on the inside of this ring here. Maybe there's some extra flashing that's not allowing it to pop in all the way and be seated properly. That could be the issue because even when I tab the wing into its spot, it gets spit back out again. So that might be the issue, something worth looking into. Definitely not going to be looking at it in camera. And uh, I may or may not get some comments on this. I know you guys uh, are probably going to say something about me putting the no raise on his legs rather than on his wings but as I commented on uh, Starscream review I think that looks better than with the no race just sticking out here it looks a little less realistic but there it is there's the jet mode for Thundercracker it looks so so good and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, transform the other two I'm not gonna make you sit through uh, that transformation on both of these unless I run into any issues specifically with Skywarp I'm just gonna go ahead and skip on through so we can see all three of these transformed and here they are in jet mode and zero issues transforming Skywarp, by the way. His transformation was about as picture perfect as you could get. That should have been the one I transformed on camera. Although if I did, you wouldn't have seen the issues that came up with Thundercracker. And this is a first impressions unboxing video. So you want to be able to see what happens out of the box for the first time. So I guess that's a thing. But yeah, everything was absolutely pi uh, uh, picture perfect with Skywarp. No issues there. And of course, Starscream, uh, nothing. Uh, the wing didn't fall off on him either. So yeah, it's it's a, it's a Thundercracker thing. It's Something's wrong with that mold there. Something's happening. I gotta investigate that. But just to check it out. There is the F-15 mode, and it looks absolutely amazing in black. I love how this looks in this color. It's absolutely just striking and gorgeous. I'm going all the way around. Oh, his colors do kind of betray him a little bit on the underside there. It doesn't quite blend in as well as the others with that silver there. Uh, but what are you going to do? The rest of the jet looks absolutely stunning. I love how this jet looks. And, of course, Thundercracker has a soft spot for me because this was the seeker that we had as kids i had optimus prime and bumblebee my brother had thundercracker so this was the seeker that we had as kids so he has a soft spot uh for me so there you go or i have a soft spot for him i guess you should say uh, but there is the jet all the way around in all the colors looking very nice in blue very very nice and as i'm filming this on fourth of july that, that kind of seems appropriate huh uh, those colors there look very nice and of course there's starscream so the only uh thing i could say here for jet modes is really um you can really see with them side by side uh, uh especially with starscream here is that the decepticon logos kind of get lost on the paint jobs here uh even with starscream uh we i didn't really think that starscream's decepticon logos were that pronounced 
uh, and they could have used a little, maybe a sticker to make them look a little better. Man, when you put uh, Thundercracker and Skywarp next to them, they, those really get lost in there. You really have to look hard to see them. They're there, but man, they are hard to see. And, you know, it, it's not even a lighting issue. It's they're, they're there. They're just very, very muted. Um, so, yeah, uh, maybe some stickers. Hopefully, I know that Toy, Toy Hacks does have a sticker set for Starscream. Hopefully, they'll come up with one for uh, this two-pack as well, so that we can get them all looking really nice and, and bright as they should. So, yeah, very, very nice looking in jet mode as well. All right, guys, and here they are one more time on, uh, back in robot mode along with Starscream. So you can see all three of them one more time in the final shot. Um, again, very pleased with this set. Uh, I did still have those issues with uh, Thundercracker putting them back in robot mode, though. The wing did fall off uh, quite a few times, and it just seems like every time I look at it the wrong way, it's going to fall off. So I definitely got to look into that and see uh, what is happening with this one and try to get a fix for it. Uh, but with the other two, no issues whatsoever. So I think it's just an isolated issue to my Thundercracker and not a mold degradation thing or anything like that. Let's hope. Uh, again, let's hope that we can get some sticker sets for these guys. Really looking forward to what they could look like uh, all stickered up. Fantastic set. If you can find it, go for it. Because especially if you can get all three of these. Again, if you can only find Starscream, get it because it's a great figure. Um, I was proved wrong on that one. I thought it was just an upgrade or not an upgrade, but more of a upscale from the original classics figures that we got a few years ago. Uh, and while that is somewhat true, they did some mold changes and they did do quite a lot of improvements uh, to make it feel fresh. Uh, so the mold really does feel uh, like not not new completely, but it does feel refreshed. Uh, and it's totally worth buying, and especially at the Voyager size, which is what they should have always been in the first place. So, um, so yeah, if you can find just Starscream, great figure, get it. I can't I recommend it enough. If you can find a two-pack so you can get all three of the jets, go for it, because this is just going to look so awesome on the shelf, and I can't wait to build my room because i still don't have one i need to get that room built so i can start putting my figures up on display my work desk here by the way this is where i've been working for the last three months working from home uh this is starting to get cluttered i've got a lot of transformers on here uh now and uh, also uh, my terror dog <laughs> so it's starting to get cluttered in here i need a room to put these things away in anyway thanks uh everybody again thank you so much for uh, always for watching and supporting the channel uh again as i come up with these uh, uh i'm really having a lot of fun with these first impression reviews unboxings wh whatever you want to call them uh this is a lot of fun i hope you're liking them as well and as always uh you know make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the bell so you're notified when i upload a new video and i'll talk to you next time